everyone! Welcome back to Math Room by Teacher John. In this video, we are going to have a lesson in basic calculus and the topic is all about evaluating limits graphically. Here is the learning objective. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to illustrate the limit of a function using the graph of a function or graphical method. In the previous video, we talked about finding the limit using numerical method. If one knows the graph of a function, it is easier to determine its limit as x approaches a given value of c. So let's begin with our first example. Let us now have the first problem. Let us find the limit of this graph of the function g of x is equal to 2x minus 1. The question here is find the limit of g of x as x approaches 2. In order for us to easily find the limit as we approach 2, let us first draw a vertical line that passes through point 2. Always remember that in finding the limit of the function, we always have to look at each one-sided limit. So let's begin with the left-hand limit. So as we approach 2 from the left, observe that we are approaching a fixed value which is 0.3. Next is, let us approach 2 from the right. Observe that the points are also getting closer and closer to point 3 as well. Since the points are getting closer and closer at the same point, hence the limit of g of x as x approaches 2 is equal to 3. Let us now have the second question. Find the value of g or the function when x is 2. We can solve this by substituting 2 to the given function or by looking at the graph. Since x is 2, its corresponding y value is 3. Therefore, g of 2 is defined and the value is equal to 3. Let us now move to the next problem. Let us find the limit of this piecewise function x squared if x is not equal to 2, 7 if x equals 2. We are asked to find the limit of the function as x approaches 2. In order to easily find the limit of the function, let us first draw a vertical line passes through x equals 2. Same with the previous example, we need to find the left-hand limit first. So as we approach 2 from the left, observe that the graph is getting closer to this point, which is 4. And when we approach 2 from the right, we are approaching the same fixed value, and that is 0.4. As we can see here, we have an unshaded circle, which means that 0.4 in y is not included. But it doesn't matter in finding the limit, because when we are talking about the limit of a function, we are after for the limit as we approach 2 from the left and from the right. Therefore, the limit of f of x as x approaches 2 is equal to 4. Next is, let us find the value of the function when x is equal to 2. If we are going to look at x equals 2, we have this point, the unshaded circle, which corresponds to 4, and the shaded one, which is equal to 7. We need to consider only the shaded one because this is the point where the point 2 is defined. So f of 2 is equal to 7. For our third problem, let us consider this graph of a piecewise function. First, find the limit of f of x as x approaches 1. This is point 1 on x and we need to observe the limit from the left and from the right. So if you approach 1 from the left, you are getting closer at point 2. And if you are approaching 1 from the right, you are approaching 1 as the value. Since the left hand is not equal to the right hand, we can now conclude that the limit as x approaches 1 does not exist. Let us move to the second. Find the limit of the function as x approaches negative 1. This is negative 1 on x, and again, we need to look at from the left and from the right. As we can see, when we approach negative 1 from the left, there is no graph going to negative 1 meaning the left-hand limit does not exist. On the other hand, when you approach negative 1 from the right, this is the graph that you need to look at too, and the graph is approaching 1. 
Since the left hand does not exist while the right hand is equal to 1, generally we can conclude that the limit as x approaches negative 1 does not exist. This time, let us find the limit of the function as x approaches 2. So this is point 2 on x, and again, we need to look at from the left and from the right. As we can see, we'll just simply look at one graph from the left of 2, which is 1, and from the right of 2, which is also 1. Since the left and the right hand limits are equal, they are approaching one fixed value, we can say that the limit exceeds and it is equal to 1. Using the same graph, let us find the limit of the function as x approaches 0. So this is point 0. Let us find the limit from the left. So as we approach 0 from the left, we are using this graph. So it corresponds to 0. And when we find the limit from the right, we need to look at this graph. And it corresponds to 0 as well. Therefore, the limit as x approaches 0 is equal to 0. Next is, we are asked to find the value of the function when x is equal to 1. 1 must be defined at a certain point. If x is equal to 1, it is defined at this point because it shaded circle, therefore, it is equal to 1. f of 2, so this is point 2 on x and we are looking for its corresponding value on y and that is point 2. This is the point wherein the function is defined when x is equal to 2. For the fourth problem, let us evaluate the limit of this piecewise function graphically, but this time the graph is not yet provided. So let us first sketch the graph of this even function. Let's begin with x minus 2 if x is less than or equal to 3. We need to start with this point. When x is 3, 3 minus 2 is equal to 1, so we have point 3, 1. Next is less than 3, so we choose 2. 2 minus 2 is 0, so we have 2 and 0. Next is when x is 1, 1 minus 2 is negative 1, so we have 1 and negative 1. And when x is 0, 0 minus 2 is negative 2. Looking at these points, it seems that this one is going downward, so we can extend this going down. So this is the graph of x minus 2 if x is less than or equal to 3. This time, let us now sketch the graph of the second function, which is a constant function. f of x is negative 4 if x is greater than 3. So meaning, when x is 3, it is negative 4. But this time, 3 isn't included, therefore, we need to use unshaded circle. So when x is 3, it is negative 4, so we should have an unshaded or open circle. Next is to get a value that is greater than 3. So when x is 4, y is negative 4. And this time, the point is included. Next, when x is 5, y is negative 4. Next, when x is 6, y is negative 4. So using these points, we can now see that the graph is going to the right in horizontal manner. So we already have the graph of the given function. This time, let us find the limit of the function as x approaches 3. So when we approach 3, we need to look at both sides from the left and from the right. So when we approach 3 from the left, we need to look at this graph and it goes to point 1. And when we approach 3 from the right, we have to look at this graph and it approaches negative 4. Since the values are different, the limit for this as x approaches 3 does not exist. Second question, evaluate the function when x is equal to 3. Where is the point defined? It is at the shaded circle. Therefore, f of 3 is equal to 1. I hope you have understood our discussion. This time, you need to check your own understanding. So given this graph of a piecewise function, evaluate the following limits. You may pause the video to answer this. Let's check your work. Item number one, 
the limit is negative 1. Number 2, it's positive 4. So in number 3, the limit does not exist. Item number 4, the limit is 3. Item number 5, the limit is 3. So in item number 6, the limit is also 3. For number 7, the limit is 4. For number 8, the limit is 4. So for number 9, the limit is 4. For number 10, the limit is 0. Did you get all of these answers correctly? If yes, great job! What are the important things that you need to take note? If the graph is provided, then finding the limits graphically is easier than the numerical method. In finding the limits graphically, you only need to analyze the graph by getting the limit from both sides, the left hand and the right hand. If the limits exist and are equal, then there is a limit. Otherwise, it does not exist. This is the end of our discussion about evaluating limits graphically. I hope you have learned a lot from this video. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. So if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell to be updated. Bye everyone! See you on our next video!